All right, so if you are coming to Ramstein or Germany as a whole, you're probably going to come through Ramstein Air Base. And if you want to see a castle like most people that come to Germany, Lonstol offers a castle as well as like some nice little treats that can be easily overlooked if you just kind of run through the area. So if you're in the KMC area, Lonstol is a key landmark. Check it out because you might be missing some really cool stuff. Now, Lonstol is actually a pretty modern little city. I uh, wouldn't call it really a city. The population is only about 8,000 people, but it's really in the middle of all of the big KMC happenings. Uh, at the top of the mountain or the hill over Lonstool is Larmsee, Lonstool Regional Medical Center. And just a quick drive through the town, you can actually see that there's a lot to it. I mean, it's really connected. It's kind of like a backbone that runs along parallel with the Autobahn. And as you can see here, they also have a modern train station, so a great stop off point for some other trips. Now, walking through the town, something catches my eye. So, one of the cool things about Germany is you never know what you're going to find because the history goes far. And these walls belong to an old hospital that soon to be destroyed during World War II. And behind me, we actually have a memorial plaque with uh, an homage to the Jews that died in World War II. So, really interesting and easily overlooked. Well, Lonstuhl is a older town with some modern amenities. It has its own little Altstadt or old city area as it is known in German. Uh, that being said, you know, it's in the middle of the hustle and bustle of Kaiserslautern, but it does have a much more relaxed pace. You know, walking through the city, uh, I can't get enough of the history. Um, just walking through, I found this uh, very interesting little a memorial site to uh, a tragedy during World War II where some uh, Jews were um, basically attacked. And again, I found a pilgrim bag. So uh, if you've seen my other video, the pilgrim bag is all around. Now on the other side of the town, I saw that there's a chapel. So I'm gonna show the chapel off now. And you know, aside from the modern chapel, uh, there's also this older chapel. Now it's, it's not as old as it may appear or you might assume, um, it's actually from the early 1800s, but very, very well preserved and um, there's not much like this in the United States. So if you're just passing through, this would be a pretty interesting stop off point. I'd also like to add that, you know, for historic reasons, the, this area of Germany is not Protestant predominantly. It's predominantly Catholic. So most of the churches that you find this uh, closer side to France they're gonna be uh, Catholic churches and they tend to be a little more elaborate. Now this one's smaller, so it's not gonna be as elaborate as um, you know something in the middle of Strasbourg or you know Notre Dame, but it's, it's, a, it's very charming and uh, very well preserved. So you know, scope it out and see how they have some really nice little paintings inside that, and some engravings and whatnot that really add to the, to the charm of this place. Now behind the church, there's actually a trail and there's a series of trails in this general area. And they all bring you to the Nonstein Castle or Berg Nonstein. And there's this awesome looking, just monolithic tower. It's also known as the Bismarck Turm. And these things are pretty interesting because these were built at the unification point of Germany from about 1898 through 1935. And a little research shows that there's about 240 of these 40 of these scattered all over Germany. This one is just in one of many, um, but at the top is a vantage point where you can see out pretty far into just the Rhineland Palatinate. And um, on a clear day, it's, it's pretty awesome. It's a good sight. Now I mentioned trails in the area, and this is the old castle way. But Germany is very integrated when it comes to exercise and uh, something they call Nordic walking, which uses poles uh, to follow trails. It's supposed to be more athletic, but if you have a bike, there's also a lot of really cool mountain biking trails. And just about anywhere you go, this is no different than anywhere else. Um, you know, surrounding the Lonstuhl, there's a network of trails. Now, the main attraction of Lonstuhl is at Castle Berg Nonstein, and so we have a hotel dedicated to that. It's right at the base and uh, it's really nice and pretty fancy. 
and it goes back a ways. It's pre pre war, so this little post here says 1935. So it goes to show just just how much history there is buried in the in the mountain there. And then when you come across the castle, you're just kind of taken back with how massive this thing is. Now it's what you would call ruins. It's not fully intact anymore. And I'm not going to film anything inside because you're supposed to pay to go inside, which means, you know, there's there's some uh, royalties there involved, and I'm not going to do that. But it really is a sight to be seen. It's not something that, you know, we have back home. We don't have castles. But um, you get used to it after all. Um, going back to this place, you know, considering I've lived here for eight years, I still remember the first time I came to this castle, and this was the first castle I had ever, you know, stepped foot in or saw with my own eyes felt my own hands and it still is very impressive considering I've been here so long and I've seen so many castles in so many different countries. Um, I still respect this place. It's a great experience. Bergnanstein is a castle like many others in Europe where people had to use what was around them to get by. And so the castle is made out of limestone, that red rock that you see all through the hills in the area. And they actually use the hill itself as part of like the structure. So going in the castle and you, you take the, you know, you pay your money to get in and um, do the tour. Um, you'll actually see that like some of the dungeon area goes further below this, this higher point here. So they actually built it alongside uh, the actual structure of the, the hilltop. And then looking down into the woods, you can see there are relics of an old castle wall. So the area used to be um, a little more spread out as far as the, the castle structure. All in all, Lonstel's a perfect little German village for you to spend some time. Whether you just showed up and you have several years ahead of you, whether you're passing through and you only have a weekend, or maybe you're on your way out and you just want one last taste of Germany, Lonstel is a microcosm of Germany itself, and I would even argue Europe. 